All right, we'll see how defect does. I thought that was a pretty fun run. For a like apparition run, that was super fun. What shall we, hold on. We have to learn more about the gummy fun mix. There are over 60 different shapes, colors, and flavors of gummies in five different varieties. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of gummies. For example, in the seriously sour gummy fun mix, you can probably find some apparitions, but also, uh, there are the circle ones and the worm ones and the ones that are shaped sort of like bottles. It's a solid deal on a uh, solid deal on candy. All right. We are forced into an elite before campfire here. I'm gonna open my seriously sour gummy fun mix for power. It's bring your kid to work day at the giant Seattle based tech company where you work. You wanna take me to work with you? Uh oh. Why did I go with the sour ones? Oh, that's very sour. I should have known. Like, in retrospect, it seems so obvious, doesn't it? I do not have a pure box set up, Ungo. All right, we're coping with it. We got through that one. Good bird fight as well. Are you allowed to take other people's kid to work with you? Like, not in a creepy way, though. Like, just like, hey, I have a friend who has a kid who is interested in this job, so I brought them instead of my child. Because my child is a spoiled brat and also doesn't exist. Which of the 60 gummy fun mix flavors do I think incense burner smells like? Hmm. Ooh, there's a whale. <laughs> I have so much gummy candy. What am I gonna do with this? Um. <clears throat> I'm gonna take one steam barrier. It becomes a bad card if we get a Sneko Eye, but other than that, it's pretty much fine. Ooh, we could do giveaways. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that, but I want to acknowledge that it is a thing that could possibly be done. Sign each gummy and give it out. I could do sub only personalized gummy eating. Uh, 
What are TikToks? You have to do a dance for it to be a TikTok, or could it just be like 12 seconds of me eating a gummy candy? I don't know what the rules are. If I had to sort the relics by taste, my favorite would probably be Art of War. I'm not sure what my least favorite would be. Our instance burner is not on the best number for an Act 1 elite fight, but the elite fight is here and we have to fight it, so we'll just do the best we can. Should try to wait before starting to get our instance burner closer to going off again. Specimen's head might be ranked very low, this certainly seems possible. Spirit poop. Do you think spirit poop has flavor? I'm not sure it has any flavor. Mummified hand probably tastes bad. Yeah, yeah, that's probably true. it called? I'm reading the Discworld one where Polly pretends to be male and enlists in the army. I'm pretty excited about it. Caitlin says it's her favorite. I have not read it before. I think it's gonna be a good time. Monstrous Regiment. Yeah, that's the one. Turbo consume and second genetic algorithm. Keep in mind I have a dead branch, which makes things which exhaust a little bit, little bit sexier than usual. I also have a fairy in a bottle, so I don't think I'm meant to rest here. I think just grabbing the zap upgrade's probably good. And then we die to Gremlin Knob. Whoops. Yeah, not sure why I thought this fight would be okay. <laughs> we'll see. Fairy in a bottle has to do a bit of work here. Um, can I play Genetic Algorithm and Zap? This is going to go up by 9, right? I'm pretty sure this goes up by 9 if I do that, so I can't. I'm not going to die in the fight, though. I'm going to be okay. I think Guards Guards is my current favorite asteroid. Because we have Fairy in a Bottle for this turn, and then Incense Burner for this turn. And then we win. Good fight!
Fractal seems like a decent card that's even better, thanks to our dead branch. And Whetstone's a little bit useful to try to keep us alive long enough to get the slime boss. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wait. Or is it? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, Twitch chat, I've got terrible news. I have to do this. Static discharge is going to keep me alive. And then we have to get lucky with where orbs go to kill Gremlin Wizard this turn. Could happen. Definitely happen. <gasps> it happened. All right, cool. And then am I on one or what's going on? I'm on three. Why would I do that? Win the fight? Uh, yeah. Helps me to survive long enough to win the run, potentially. Okay, this fight seems like not a great fight to try to win with 3 HP, unfortunately. Cool headed. Is that thirty seven and I have ball lightning next turn? Oh, did I do it wrong? Maybe. Definitely. Yeah, I did not play this turn right. I assumed that Thunderstrike didn't suck, but then it did suck. Uh, we're okay. Recycle is very good with Dead Branch. Resting seems okay. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade Recycle, I think. Wait, okay, this is on the wrong number. Doesn't really do anything in this fight. Probably just have to rest. Feels bad. Holly fights have been very tense. It's been a tough act one. I meant to plant a split next turn with the attack potion. I don't think Defect has a mouth, so Defect probably doesn't have teeth. Hmm. 
I'm not like an expert on defect anatomy, but yeah. How does defect drink potions? Defect uses potions as a lotion. Just rubs them on its skin. Wait, I had more energy? <laughs> huh. Interesting. Okay, this fight went super well. And seek seems pretty good with dead branch. I don't know what we're seeking, actually. We're gonna get like recycle, but that's sort of okay. That's where I'm at with that. Choker's running into trouble a lot of the time already. So it's either coffee dripper and we have an incredibly stressful run will be very reminiscent of the last act of this run so far. We'll just continue being very stressful. Or we take Busted Crown and die halfway through Act 3 because we don't see any cards anymore. And let Branch carry us. The thing is that we need cards to activate Branch with, so... Yeah. I'm not sure that Branch makes you less dependent on cards. It might actually make you more dependent on getting the right cards. All right, let's do this. How does Skip compare to these options? It is worse than them. But not by that much. But by a lot. But not by, like... You wouldn't make it a national park, the amount worse it is. It would just be like some fairly nice land that maybe got farmed or something. You could build a rest stop for a freeway on it. Good blizzard? Unfortunate. On a scale of wrong shade of green, as if there's a right shade of green. I read my YouTube comments pretty much every day. And a few days ago, there were a bunch of comments like, Jorbs, how could you possibly say that thing at the start of this video? Jorbs, I listened to what you said at the start of this run, and now I'm not watching your channel anymore. And I was like, what? What did I say? Because, I mean, sometimes Jorbs past Jorbs. He gets out of line, you know? Happens every now and then. I'm not going to deny that it's happened. But I had no idea, like, what it was, so I clicked on the thing to see what I'd said. 
And apparently I started one of my runs by just like going off on the color green. In ways that the color green really like probably didn't deserve. Like it's not that bad. Erasmus, thanks for the 18 months. Agbo Mosho to you as well. I mean, it is pretty bad. The worst thing about green is if something like structural is painted green, and then you get that really like eh, sort of, sort of sickly glow off it. The sunlight reflecting, it just doesn't look good. You all know what I'm talking about. So I would like to echo form that. I feel like that's probably achievable. When I say Agbomo show to you too, it means to you. Well, when people sub to me, it says Ogbomo Show. So, to you two means that I'm saying Ogbomo Show back. What is my favorite color? What's the opposite from green on a color wheel? Purple? I don't even know because who would bother remembering where green was on a color wheel? Orange? Red? Red. Apparently red's my favorite color. Hey, we got a self repair plus. That's a super big hit after taking the coffee dripper. So we're actually doing sort of okay now, I think. We've got two genetic algorithms, plus the incense burner, and a dead branch, which, just, which will just randomly do strong things sometimes. What we're missing is like an echo form, something reliably strong to put in play with our seek early. <laughs> Offer whetstone. Lose this relic. Obtain a special relic. If only I had the shovel right now. Well, whetstone doesn't do anything after you pick it up, so... We'll grab Noth's gift from this event. Triple our chance of finding rare cards from combat rewards. And when it says triple, it means something completely different from triple. But we should see more rare cards now is basically the point. I think this fight's actually pretty bad. I think I'm at uh, Poison Potion here. Hey, Micro! How exactly does Noth's gift work? Um, There's an offset on rare chance and it like 
triples the underlay modifier gizmo. Or something. <laughs> something like that. It doesn't just add 6% to the base rare card drop chance. It's slightly more complicated, but I don't remember how. I guess basically my response is please don't ask that question because you're hurting my brain. so dead. Justin, thanks for the year. Agbomo show to you as well. Uh, this one. I guess we get random cards out of dazes, so actually we're completely fine. Sort of cute. It's actually in the gift box. It's one of those presents that you're afraid to open. had a clone of myself and someone wanted if I had a clone of myself all other life would already be gone from this planet the only thing stopping me from conquering everyone and taking all of the planet planet's material resources for myself is like I haven't quite passed that tipping point where I have enough time to get everything that I need to do done but like another 0.6 jorbs and and that would be it. It's like a capacitor. Probably upgrade seek. How fun is the gummy fun mix? The first sour gummy got us through Act 1. I want to get a different one. Oh, I, oh, that's also very sour. I don't know. These are more sour than other sour gummies that I've eaten. Up to 17 varieties of seriously sour. Hmm. Antimatter dynamite. Thank you for the 3,000 bits. Your chair has shared rewards with 75 others in chat. I'm honestly unsure what that means, but I want to thank you personally. Ooh. That was cute. Where do we acquire these gummies? They're available from Amazon.
at an excellent price for all of your gummy needs. I've never uh, ordered bulk gummies off the internet before. It felt very indulgent. Head branch is a good relic. Let's try to keep politics out of this. Go for the ice beam cell and sweeping beam. Um, so I don't want to take the go for the eyes. But I also sort of don't want to have a mediocre zero cost card which doesn't exhaust in my deck. And Sweeping Beam feels like sort of the wrong direction to be going with Dead Branch because you would think that we would have a lot of cards in our hand. So drawing one card is a lot less exciting. I think I'm going to skip. That could have been a spot where I was meant to take Go for the Eyes though. If I'm complaining later in the run about not blocking far enough, you can remind me that I'm bad. Once ordered an obscene amount of jelly beans off Amazon, you regret nothing. Um, I've bought bulk candy from like wholesale grocery stores before, but never from the comfort of my own home until now. Oh, I had to go for the eyes anyway. Easy. Always wary of the bulk goods bins because you don't trust people. You think there might be people hiding in the bin? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I see what the problem is. That'd be really creepy though if there was a person just like underneath the top layer of bulk goods. Rebound Claw and Steam Barrier. Claw doesn't really work here, right? Because our deck bloats enormously and we only really go through it once probably in most sites. Rebound Steam Barrier, I don't think any of this works. We're just not getting much stuff that's improving our deck at the moment, unfortunately. Ebus, thanks for 13 months. Agubomo show to you as well.
Oh, I was probably meant to save genetic algorithm for next turn, huh? That would have been better. Oops. Oh, except the next turn I'm intangible. I'm gonna pretend that I noticed that and that's why I played it how I did. Yeah. Totally. Totally deliberate. Next character will be out on the beta on the 9th, let's consider. There's a part of you that thinks a store wouldn't throw away the contents of a bin even if they knew it was contaminated. Have you ever? Maybe this is not a thing that's appealing for you at all, but if you have ever gone dumpster diving after a grocery store shuts, the amount of stuff that they throw out is like actually pretty ridiculous. Oh. It's all of the good cards at the same time. That's unfortunate. I think I have to take Defrag over Electrodynamics. Collector? Maybe I have to take Electrodynamics. No. Defrag's too good. It's already upgraded. I mean, I mean, why would you, <laughs> why would you bother starting with an electrodynamics in your deck? I don't understand. What, what is even the point? Why not just wait until halfway through turn one when you get given one? What is this, amateur hour? Bears on head to prove non psychic broadcast. I don't know if there are just like regular gummy bears. I feel like that's sort of the the drive of the product is that there's more to it than just the gummy bear. What about a gummy whale? Did I play? Yeah, I did. We're good. If I could go to Mars and live there as a colonist but never return, would I do it? Hell no. Hell no. The first colony to Mars, like, everybody's gonna die within a year. We all know it. They can't, like... <laughs> no.
It's very pessimistic. I think humans have spent a very, very, very long time evolving to live on Earth. I don't actually think it is pessimistic. There's something very beautiful about the idea that we are a species who have become so good at living on this planet. better at living on this planet than we are at living on any of the other ones. And I haven't seen any evidence of uh, species who can live on more than one. So I think all things considered, we can say that we're okay at that. How many waves of colonists to Mars will it take before they start wearing red robes and worshipping toasters? Can we do that already? Hey Dr. Jeeves, thanks for the five gift subs. Much appreciated. Og Bomo show to you as well. you can get a cyber dong. I'll let you know, Mr. Beastiemon. Once the streamers get access to that stuff, you'll be the first person I tell. So we don't have an electrodynamics? That's pretty unfortunate. All right, let's see how this fight goes. be useful for my big brain because there would be less gravity pulling on it. It would be useful for my streamer belly. I think streamer bot is the new dad bod. incoming. Let's do this. Hey, ten little piggies. Yeah, Sender's Bane definitely became a defrag. That is definitely a true thing that happened. Ooh. Ooh. That's cute. That could use calipers. Dota being the best game ever is a bald statement. Oh, 
31. Can I block for another 15 here? I can. All of the cards were defrags. That's neat. Arcturus. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. Ugbomu show to you as well. Oh, that's the buffer, huh? It's too bad. Fortunately, Collector has not resummoned yet. Our deck's really good at not having to kill stuff in AoE. Damage modes? I don't know. I started that sentence and wasn't sure where it was going, and we sort of just abandoned ship halfway through. Um, yeah, our deck doesn't like it when Collector summons more minions, is what I was trying to say. Pizza or burgers tonight if you had to pick? I would go pizza tonight. Just feels like a pizza night to me. Not that burgers aren't great. Just, you know, there's a time and place. Thank you, Dead Branch, for getting us through Act 2. I should probably have put this on a different number, huh? I could take Meteor Strike, and assuming I got a fifth energy, I could actually cast it. Actually, I already have a reboot, for that, a recycle, and a Seek Plus. So I could pretty reliably play it if I wanted to. I also just take Amplify. Amplify seems good. Amplify seems good with the uh, cards that I just mentioned. All right, cool. If I take Fusion Hammer, I can't do anything at Rust Sites anymore. Maybe that's a bad idea? Sores, it's gone okay. Do I have a capacitor plus makes nuclear battery a little bit better? I don't have the greatest access to stuff to spend this much early energy on, though. Like, I can spend 5 energy a turn, like, just barely, but I don't know about spending 7 energy. Seems a little bit tough. I guess if I get an Echo Form, it becomes really good. Okay, sure. Uh, uh, this isn't good, right? <laughs> um, hold on. 
Just a second. The Duke of Twitch, thank you very much for the six months. Hug Bobo show to you as well. I think it's fine. I didn't get to amplify defrag, which was sort of the entire point of the turn up until getting a meteor strike, but hey, we got a meteor strike, so there's that. I will now play all of my cards over block for 17 and pass the turn with three energy up. Because that's just how we roll. You need to go to the bathroom. How do you pause the stream? Oh, wait. I ever forget about the explosion rework? Uh, I mean, it's not in the game anymore, so I don't spend a lot of time thinking about it. The old way that explosion worked, I mean. I can take another Seek Plus. Seems like such a bonkers strong card right now. The other really good options are Genetic Algorithm. Definitely very good. Defragment, definitely very good. Need damage. I have a favorite cocktail. I don't do a ton of mixed drinks of any sort. I'll drink a rum and coke sometimes. I have a gin and tonic on occasion. That's like about it for my interest in mixed drinks. So, like, Seek Plus makes the deck more consistent, but the thing it consistently does, I'm not convinced it's enough to beat the heart. Whereas if we grab another Defrag Plus, it seems like the thing that we do is strong enough to kill the heart. And just, like, we don't do it quite as consistently. It's slightly easier to get cards like Defrag later in the run, but it's not that much easier. There aren't that many of them. Defrag, consume, biased cog. I'm gonna take another defrag. Are the question marks good? I haven't gotten mind bloom yet. They're probably good then. Oh, it's a store. Oh. Uh, is that good? This is good. Shit. I have to think now. Secret technique better than symbiotic virus. Symbiotic virus feels sort of like it was really good 20 floors ago and isn't as good now. And this gives me an extra card with dead branch and gets me a seek plus. Seems really strong. All right, cool.
I had loop and recursion. I do have a loop. There's no hologram, right? Grab cool headed though. Sure. Oh, I really wanted to kill last turn so that incense burner would carry over to the next fight. Whoops. I will take another chill. I think chill is a pretty good card here. I will lose four max HP. Got him. What real life spires would I like to slay? Hmm. The Space Needle's okay. It's not like super special. I don't really understand why it's a tourist attraction. I just don't get it. It's like, yep, that's the building. I'm not sure it like needs to be slain or anything. Because there's so little else that's touristy in Seattle. Seattle is between like two magnificent mountain ranges. It has beaches, it has a gorgeous harbor, it has gorgeous lakes. I don't know about that claim. Maybe the, like, downtown area doesn't... I mean, it's got museums. A lot of theaters. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's mostly a tourist attraction because they said it was. It was built for the World's Fair, and they were like, Yeah, this is really cool. And everyone else was like, Eh, should we tell them it's not that cool? Now let's just go with it. We don't want to upset them. Hmm. <laughs> The Leaning Tower of Pisa is going to slay itself, right? Oh, I have an Echo Form in play. Whoops. Yeah, there were several better things to Echo Form in my hand at the start of that turn. They first advertised come, sit, and rotate, but it didn't work. That's funny. I've never eaten in like the restaurant in this Space Needle. I've always just sort of assumed that it's like overpriced and not the best food and yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ate there, it was fine. How expensive was it? Like, fine is fine, you know, but... You're paying a lot more money than you should be for fine. How does the Space Needle get to space? Uh, it's... Got a little, a little keyhole that causes it to take off. 
The key is held by Tim Curry. He is the only person legally allowed to send the Space Needle to space, and he will go ahead and use it for that whenever he feels the need. There's a really good vegan Thai restaurant in Seattle. There are like at least seven. <laughs> There are, there are a lot of those in Seattle. If you're looking for a place that does vegan Thai food. Space Needle was meant to look how it looks, or do you think it was meant to, like, actually be sensible as, sensible as a building design, and then, like, they couldn't work out how to make it work architecturally? It's the equivalent of the, like, last-minute high school project, because they couldn't get it to actually look good. Was a building of the future. Now I'm from the future. I can tell you with confidence that it wasn't. Rainbow bad card? Nope, it's fine. I just can't take damage if I keep on ending the turn like this, so I'm just not thinking about it. I think people forgot how to architecture in the 60s. I guess they were busy... being put in iron lungs? I don't, I don't know a, a whole lot about the 60s. Did Vietnam start in the second half of the 60s? They forgot how to make music. Pretty sure there's no good music from the 60s. Did the Beatles start in the 60s? Yeah, but they're from like a different country. Are we aiming for a specific count on the relics? Uh, I just need Dead Branch to be at anything, and we should be fine. Another Glacier is sort of interesting. Just worried about damage. Just worried about damage. I have an Oculus Rift Pikester. I wouldn't like not recommend it, but I would also mention that I've never actually tried any other VR systems. It's just the one that I bought and it's been fine. So I want to break that shield so that I do not get a curse. Can I do that? I have a core surge and a strike plus. Or a ball lightning works, I guess.
Does artifact block the spaghetti curse? It does not. I think it's a good question though. I'm not really sure how you would be expected to work out that it doesn't, other than have it happen and then be sad. It seems like it would be a debuff happening to you in combat, right? But for whatever reason, it doesn't actually count that way. is not actually enough block, but I have self-repair. Oh, also I can't do math and it was enough block. Do I have a favorite or preferred delicious gummy candy? I like to think that I like the sour ones. But I'm not sure that I actually do. But I feel like the, like, the cool people like the sour ones, right? So I have to like the sour ones too because I'm a cool person. Carlos, thanks for the four months. Ogbomo showed you as well. Is there a reason I didn't play Blizzard? Was there a reason to play Blizzard? That enemy changes what attack it's doing whenever you play a whenever you deal attack damage to it. So playing Blizzard would have required me to like think. Which doesn't sound great at all, to be honest. Ooh, biased gone. Really sweet game, Avalon. Hope you enjoy. I cannot take damage. Which gummy candy? Shall we give the honor of pressing the end turn button until the giant hut is dead? More. Mm. Lime whale. Both reasonable options. Bottle. I haven't had a bottle yet. can't find them because they're like the smallest ones. That one? So they're in the bottom of the package. Bottle? Oh, I accidentally ate it. See what I can do, Matt like sleep. Cat 
fight time. How's that headache? Nah, eh, I felt better in my life. If I were to fish in, I mean, well, I've done it now, so. If we're dead, we're dead at this point. The giant head is the one that's dead, actually. I think we're okay. Recycle plus is really good. Loop is really good. Let's go loop. I think this deck wins just by getting the orbs set up. Hey, that's another seek. I'm into it. You would like me to crinkle the gummy bag really close to the mic. I don't think I run that sort of stream. But I'm glad you're comfortable asking for that in a public forum. Star Clover. That seemed fair, right? <laughs> work it out, right? Gotta believe that we'll work it out. If this is a win, we're on a three-run streak. Maybe? What happened in the last Ironclad run? Did we win? streak ain't bad. Oh, that was the Flash of Steel run. Yeah. I guess this would be three in a row. This one, lightning orbs. Hit this one. The big green circle. Looks like a target. Alright. Don't believe I can take damage anymore. I 
killing Donu first because it is green. Yeah, that's correct. I guess I want this on four? Five? Something. Maybe five. Was I a hyper kid? I mean, sometimes. Not a huge amount. I like played chess as a kid. Also, cricket. time eater we just make frost orbs and then win at least that's the general idea and hope I was a jock as a kid that's I think slightly stretching the definition of jock I hung out with Jock sometimes. One of them DDT'd me and then got suspended from school. Not joking. Actual true story. a wrestling move. Did I follow up with a camel clutch? I followed up with uh, getting up off the ground five seconds later, feeling dizzy. It was a it was a sucker move. I wasn't even like facing that direction. I didn't see him coming. Alright, Jerbs wins. Hey, Mr. Aquafina. Thanks for earning yourself a sub with quest mode. Appreciate that. I'm at E9 damage at a time. I mean, I see actual no other possible way to win this fight, so yeah, I th think so. I'm lucky my gigantic cerebral matter cushioned the blow. You're not wrong. I don't know. Does anybody want to like come over and press E for me for a while? I could E 18 damage a turn. What if I did this? No, it's too dangerous. Forget Drinking Bird to press E for me. That's what we used to call Evelyn when we played League of Legends. If I play another card, it gets two more strength, and the amount of stuff that I need goes up. Uh... Uh... 
give you access via team viewer. See what I can do. They get it installed, I guess. I do want to get the incense burner on four. That's relatively important. The fourth character will be on the beta branch on the 9th of September. Oh, look at that. 51 incoming. Jeez, I'm glad I didn't try channeling another lightning orb. That could have been fatal. It's going to be very hard to put incense burner on four, actually. I don't know, we're sort of screwed, like... <laughs> I can play cards, but they don't actually do much more damage than what I'm currently doing. I just play a bunch of block cards, and I'm already blocking for enough every turn. If only this game had auto-resolve Kappa. No early access for Jorbs. Well, it's coming out on the beta branch on the 9th. That is early access. At least play the slimes. Why? Does that accomplish anything except giving time eater strength? Yeah, but on good authority, the fourth character is just a sandal. That's fair. I have a macro that presses E for me, Onion Knight. Just evoke the last lightning orb till it has less than 15 HP, and then fire pot. Hmm, I want the fire pot to be able to turn in the Act 4 Elite fight though. You train your cat to press E. Zephyr! I feel like Zephyr is a very intelligent cat. Oh, excuse me. I also feel like he has very little interest in being trained, though. Y'all want to know something cool? This channel currently has 49,930 followers. That means that if 70 of you unfollow and then follow again, we'll hit 50,000. I'm pretty sure. Wait, no. You'd have to follow twice. You couldn't just unfollow, it wouldn't work. A long time ago, I uh, set out streaming with the goal to become famous enough to feel like I had significant self-worth. And... I'm pretty sure that 50,000 followers is going to be enough. And if it's not, we'll just go to 60,000, right? I mean, whatever. Self-worth comes from inside your friend. That's sort of weird. What does your friend do? Does anyone else hold their mouse over Jorbs' mouse to feel closer? Oh, I'm not actually even touching my mouse right now. Does 
since the Space Needle is dumb, what would I replace it with? Well, the thing about the Space Needle is that it itself replaced a military base that was, like, very close to downtown Seattle. So... I'm pretty okay with it being a Space Needle, like all things considered. Rather that than a military base in downtown. I don't... It's not that I absolutely hate military bases or anything, it's just like it is 10 minutes walk from downtown. Like, that's just not a sensible place to put a military base. The Space Needle is not dumb. Please get out of here. Once you hit 50,000 subs, will I remember the little guys who got me there? Or will I go full Hollywood? Uh, I still remember like pretty much all of the usernames of people who were watching this channel when I had 10 viewers. Honestly, they're the ones who forgot me. They don't even say hi anymore. Leonette stops by. What's my top three for dumb buildings in the United States? Ooh. I have used my fire potion there. Maybe I should have used my fire potion there. Fuck. I had the chance, right? I should probably have used my fire potion there. Did I ever play Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? I did. I used to really like that game. We had it on one of the computers at school. And it was always very exciting when you got to play it, because like it was for a class of 30 or whatever, and only one person could play at a time. What am I doing with the hologram? Don't know. Shit, what do I do? I think maybe I was meant to not play two seeks this turn. I don't actually think I'm getting much value out of the last card I get here. Quite. Pig Venus, thanks for the five months. Agbomushu to you as well. Just end turn repeatedly like before. We could try that. I'm not evoking any frost orbs right now. But it makes this entire strategy pretty shit. I think I meant to do this first to see if I get something useful. I think rainbow counts as useful somehow. turn goes. 
Bifrost seemed okay since I had Puzzle. <laughs> Might be right. get calipers from this fight. Steam 32, that's exactly 36 block actually. Or 38 rather. Yeah. Holy shit, you're like already dead. This hits for 94 twice. Oh my god. Um I'm pretty down with killing the bad guys here. I want to kill this one though. So that I can amplify self-repair later. How do we kill that one? Maybe a fire potion? It'd be hard to amplify self repair. With Hello World in play already? We can try though. It's worth waiting for. This debuffs focus on occasion, so we can't actually wait forever. Mm hmm. Shuffle all of this. And drawing self repair at the same time as amplify is our uh, tricky thing that we're trying to do right now. We have to play self repair when we draw it either way at this point, I think. Doesn't do anything, does it? Don't think so. I also want to end the fight with incense burn round four. That's somewhat important. No luck. Currently, this is at two. Next turn, it will be three. Just a rebound of the self repair. Oh, there you go. Very clever idea. All right. At least we got Instance Burner at the right place. And 62 health isn't that bad. Also, we have a Vajra, so, you know. Bioscog's really good here. Yeah, Bioscog's really good here.
This is less good. This is not quite what we wanted. I guess I could have drawn three with Centennial Puzzle there, huh? Let's do that now. Grab Seek, Seek for Biased Cog. And what? Ooh, Aesthetic Discharge is nice. Do I not multicast then? I had been planning to multicast to block this turn, but... Seems like actually I want to take damage. This is 16, 21. So that gets hit 8 times. last defrag. I didn't like amplify any of my powers. Is it enough? I don't know if it's enough, but it's hard to amplify the defrag next time through as well. It doesn't even do that much. Zygon, thanks for 10 months. Hope you are well. Ogbomo show to you too. Machine learning is sort of nice to hit. Exhaust into creative AI. Yeah, I mean, that's one strat. Sixty incoming, I have forty four block.
get a bunch of damage out of this Dark Orb. I actually have a Recursion in my deck and drew it. That's convenient. All right. I feel like the Dark Orb's probably enough. Cool. Cool. All right, six times fifteen is a bit. Not gonna lie. I do have static discharge in play. So I don't want to play Zap. This is 76, 87, 98 block. So we take four. And then another four. And the Dark Orb goes to the front. Take six and then another four. Sure, I'm okay with that. What the fuck just happened? Six times fifteen is ninety. That's why they say I'm the best. All right, cool. The next one's for 120. <laughs> well, we'd better be ready. Yeah, I thought I was having to block 120 there, not 90. I was very confused. It's pretty good here. Sec. Okay. I know that 8 times 15 is 120. I thought this was 8 times 15. Leave me alone. Let me play the game my way. Good one. Good one. A little bit dodgy at the end there. Three and oh, and he did it his way. Isn't this tied for second world record? No, no, my world record is seven. At least one person has had six. My second best streak was, I must have had four before, right. I've had three so many times. Must have had four another time. I don't remember, honestly. Who bothers remembering second best? Wait, my Big Mac, thanks for the 14 months! Ugh, Bomo showed you as well. 